my name is May. I'm from Childline Foundation. During the nine months of your pregnancy, you took the utmost care for the safety of you and your child. And now you can continue to do so. This is what we call an infant carrier car seat. You use this from newborn until 13 kilo. And remember, you have to use this rear facing only. Over here, we have another type of car seat. It is called a convertible. You use this from newborn until 13 kilo rear facing, and then you can convert it to a forward facing car seat. After that, it can be converted to a high back booster. A high back booster looks something like this. You use this from a minimum of 15 kilo until 36 kilo. Before purchasing your child car seat, make sure to check if it is certified. What you do is turn it around and look for the orange sticker at the back of the seat. This is the ECE R4404 standard. The other standard that you can look out for is the R129, which is the latest European safety standard. We're now ready to use the infant carrier car seat. Put him in so that the back is nicely supported. Put the harness over the shoulder. Make sure that the harness straps are coming out from shoulder level or below. Put this together and clip into place. The next step is very important because you need to make sure that the harness is snug enough. Pull up on the shoulder. Make sure that the belt around the hips are nice and snug. Pull on the harness adjuster belt. Make sure baby's arms are not in there. And pull to tighten. Slide two fingers under the collarbone and try to twist 90 degrees. If it cannot rotate, he's snug enough. If you need to swaddle the baby, this is what you do. After he's nice and snug inside the carrier, you tuck a nappy as snug as possibly, tuck it all the way in, and you can tuck the tail in as well. Move the handle up, and we're ready to go into the car. Place the baby carrier on the seat, and make sure it's rear facing and the base is lying flat on the seat. Get the three point seat belt and pull it across the seat. Make sure that it goes under the lap belt guides on here. And then you buckle up. Pull tight to make sure it's secure. Bring the shoulder belt around and slip into the blue clip at the back. Babies need to be sitting rear facing like this because the back of the seat absorbs all the shock from any crash forces. This protects the baby's neck and head and prevents any serious neck injury. I am now installing the convertible seat into the car. This is for a newborn, so make sure that the harness is at the lowest position and the recline at maximum. Turn the seat so that it's facing the rear and make sure that the base is flat on the seat. Now pass the seat belt to the back of the seat and buckle on the other side. Once you've buckled in, come round to the other side, pull tight again on the shoulder belt and pass it through the lock off clip on this side. Make sure it passes through the blue guide as well. Vehicle seat belts are made for adult proportions. So if your child has outgrown the convertible seat and is at least 4 years and 15 kilo, he is ready for a booster seat. Some booster seats like this have an ISO-safe connection at the back. You need to release the ISO-safe connectors and look for the ISO-fix anchorage. Once you see the ISO-fix anchorage, you can match it up and click in. Make sure that the back of the booster is flush against the back of the vehicle seat. So now we're ready for someone to sit in there. So the child sits in here. And the seat belt goes across the lap under these guides. The shoulder belt goes through the shoulder belt guide over here. And this is adjusted according to the child's height. It's really important to check the car owner's manual because this is where you find the correct positions to install your child car seat. 
The other really important one to check out is the child seat manual. Remember, read it from cover to cover. Your child needs to be in the right car seat for every journey, no matter how long or short. Keep your child safe in a car seat from day one.